In this video, I'm going to be showing you a very simple passing concept that is really, really effective from the bunch tight end formation to provide a great spacing opportunity for your bunch tight end. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody, and my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now, I have not actually um, really came across this concept before, even though it seems like I should have already posted this video, but we are going to be sharing with you a great concept from the Bunch Tight End Stick. Stick is one of the most versatile passing plays in the entire Bunch Tight End Offensive Guide. If you want to get my entire Bunch Tight End Offensive Guide, you can get that for just 15 bucks in the description. It also comes with a complete gun bunch out of the New York Jets playbook. So we go over the Bunch Tight End, the Bunch, as well as the Trips Tight End Offset and show all three of those in that guide that's just 15 bucks and it's in the description but this passing concept stick right here this very special little route that i want to talk about is the stick route and i want to talk about why it's so effective and how you can use it to be really really good at this game so uh we're just going to call stick and what we're going to do is we're just going to set up kind of a standard little mabel coverage right here now what most people are going to do whenever they defend bunch tight end is they're going to do something essentially along these lines right here where you see i have a three rack i've got mabel coverage on both sides for both of these yellows and then I'm going to basically rush two people. This is kind of a default coverage that a lot of people like to use um, to, to basically combat, you know, this kind of offense. And so this concept that we're about to talk about is so, so effective, especially against man and zone. It's really, really good against zone, specifically Mabel coverage. Uh, it's one, probably one of my favorite passive concepts against Mabel coverage. So without further ado, let's jump into the video and let's talk about it. If you want to get the bunch tight end guide, it's in the description down below. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our running back, R1, we're going to put him on a option route, just like that right there. We're going to take our tight end and we're going to put him on a post route. This is why we love to have tight end apprentice whenever we run this offense because we can do stuff like this. If you can't do that, then just put the tight end on a curl and put the running back on a wheel. It's not that big of a deal. It's going to be the same concept. Okay, so you can do that. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to use a very... Um, I think just a very creative route combo on the left side. We're just going to put the circle receiver on a hitch. And then we have kind of two options. I'm going to show two different options that you can use. One of them is a little bit better, in my opinion, against man coverage. One of them is a little bit better against zone coverage. So uh, if you think it's zone coverage, what I like to do is I like to put the square receiver on a simple flat route, right? Nothing um, you know, nothing too complicated here. It's very simple little flat route. And watch what it does to zone, though. Um, this is really, really good. This triangle route is going to be open 99.9% .9 of the time. It's one of my favorite, it's starting to become honestly, seriously, one of my favorite routes in the entire game. Because if they put a yellow zone over there, like let's say they put a yellow zone to whitehead, um, and then let's say they put like a purple zone just like this, very simple little concept, you're going to see that this combination on the, on the left is still going to work really, really well. Um, you see that the yellow zone sucks back to the inside and the triangle receiver is yet again wide open for an instant 15 to 20 yards after the catch. Let me talk about man coverage for just a brief second here. Um, so if they, man, if, they, if they run man coverage on you, uh, what you're going to notice is that this route to the triangle receiver is going to basically become an out route. You're going to see he's going to essentially beat the jam and he's going to go to the out route. The one problem with that is, and that's what I talked about, it's not as good against man coverage for that specific reason. And so how can we make this play a little bit better against man coverage? Well, one of the things that we can do um, is we can take that, uh, that square receiver and we can actually put him on a smart routed out route, similar to the idea of a flood concept. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to motion him to the outside so that he's going to basically pull these zones at the snap of the ball. And what you're going to see is that little five yard out route is still is, is going to be a very um, simple and very effective read against man to man coverage. Now, the next thing I want to show you is that this circle receiver, because of where he's at on the field, it's very likely that you're going to see this kind of an adjustment right here where they basically man him up with that with that uh, other player. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create kind of some natural spacing out of this concept um, with this backside running back. If it's man-to-man -man coverage, that running back option route is very effective. It's been very effective all season. You've got to throw your option routes against man and zone coverage. It's very important um, for the totality of the offense. 
And then the next read against man coverage is obviously your tight end post route. Now, nine times out of ten, they are going to use her this with their defense, uh, their, their middle linebacker typically is going to go with that route but you'll see here it's open early it's open late it's open all the time the tight end post route is one of the most effective and underutilized routes in the game this year now i want to talk about one other adjustment that you can do especially if you're kind of the, maybe the play's breaking down a little bit against man coverage um, something that you can actually really do that's very effective so uh, i'm going to basically just kind of put this guy on the tight end just to kind of simulate their user going out there i'm going to take this guy maybe put him on a purple to simulate them going out of, after the running back and i just want you to kind of watch uh what's going to happen here so what we're going to be left with is we're going to be left with a, basically this concept um here and we got to figure out what to do with circle. Well, what we can do is we can just playmaker him up. And what you'll see is he's going to get a step on the guy. And if you do that little swerve catch right there, it's a really, really effective way to beat the man-to-man -man coverage. Let me give you another example. This is uh, Mike Blitz O. And I just wanted to shade coverage up and show you kind of what you can do with the playmaker hitch. I think the playmaker hitch is something that most people have kind of slept on this year. They haven't really taken advantage fully of this but I can playmaker this any direction I want you see I can playmaker it up field and then what I can do is kind of put some air underneath the ball and try to get a nice little rat catch over the top that's option one okay option two though um, is if you're in a situation like what I was just in where they're shading coverage um, over the top and you know you don't want to mess with that and if you don't want to test that over the top I understand that so let's talk a little bit about what else you can do so the other thing that you can do um, is you can just simply playmaker him to the right, and as you'll see right there, it'll turn it into a drag. Also against high, uh, if they're shading over top and they're not coming down on the hitch, you just low ball it, and it's going to be an easy read. Now, uh, I want to talk a little bit about some concepts that you might see them try to do if they're going to try to take this away. It's something essentially like this right here, where we've really got a lot of different yellow zones on the field to try to take away this underneath passing. And I just want you to watch this triangle receiver. You're going to see that he is going to consistently... Um, you see how he holds these zones, the tight end route can get wide open over the top. Very simple and very effective. Now, I want to share with you one other adjustment that you can do. This is primarily um, for a situation like what we're about to show you, where they might be doing something, uh, you know, basically something along these lines, where they have, you know, kind of a yellow over here, and then they have this purple zone concept on the backside. And I want to show you what it would look like if you were to use this corner route as your flat pull route, so which can allow and open up some different concepts. So you'll see here, he's still going to pull the route. That, that corner route that we run is still going to pull this route. He's actually going to pull it really, really well. And so what this is going to force your opponent to have to um, deal with is a lot of people like to use deep halves on their outside guys. They like to use deep halves to take away like uh, one play touchdowns and things like that against cover three. Well, the beauty of this play is we can now leverage the power of a corner route as a man and zone pull for this you see this hitch is still open here and what it, that corner route does that i really like is he pulls zones and pulls spaces pulls the deep zones and allows much much more room for your tight end to now be able to come open over the middle of the field so let's talk about this one more time and this is actually a really good setup specifically for man coverage too if you're wanting something that really will work well against man and zone this corner route is super glitchy, super unrated. If you have Gunslinger, this is like an automatic laser. If they are running cover three or cover uh, three invert, something like this right here, um, it doesn't really matter. And you, you'll, you'll take a look at this and you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a moment. But I love this double hitch setup. I really do. I think this double hitch concept is super hard to guard. But if you watch this deep half, he's not even going to try to guard him. It's a really simple little read. For them to be able to stop that, they're going to have to make some really big adjustments, maybe even play some cover two, you know, do different things like that that they may have not anticipated having to do. The cool part is I've got cover four uh, drop right here. I just want to show you really quickly what a cover four drop is going to look like. So if they run something like a cover four quarters, that outside quarter zone doesn't get out there either. There's really no zone in the game that's going to guard it. They're going to have to man that player up. They're going to have to do something to stop that. And then, again, every little step is going to much, much more um, – is just going to open up these hitches um, way more. This is one of my favorite plays in the entire game right now because it's so stinking simple to run, but it's so dang effective. And so if you want to learn my entire bunch tight end and bunch gun bunch offensive scheme, you can get that in the description of this video. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown. And if you have any questions, my number is 208 218 
6900. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you want to get that entire offensive guide, it is in the description down below. You can get it for just 15 bucks.